sticks on the bottom, it won't shut, get stuck. We gotta fix this. So here's what we're dealing with with the gate. See that hinge? See how crooked that is? See the top of this? This is drop down right here. So the whole gate on the right is lower than what's on the left. Same thing down at the bottom. That hinge is tilted. So we're going to fix that. So what we're going to have to do to start with, take a, off that and that board so we can dis take the hinge or disassemble it, take it off and see what our culprit is and see why our whole gate is sagging. You look over here at the top right side, you can see how much difference that is. Here I'm putting in a spacer board. It's going to keep the gate at the proper location, keep it from falling down, as well as keeping it the right distance from the post. Okay, so the issue is this hole, that hole, that hole, and that one are in alignment you go from the bottom of the hole all the way here to the right, you can see this bubble <laughs> tilt over here is way to the left. So these things need to be up, and that thing is under that by at least three eighths, if not a half inch. And it actually starts here. So from the bottom of that one to the bottom of that one, you can see this thing is easily off the whole bubble. That thing should be there. So this first one has a downward slant and we know that this one does too. So my su proposed solution is I'm gonna raise this up and put in new holes to, for this bracket into here. Then I'm gonna lift this fence up and make new holes for that one as well. Here I'm making sure that the second hole has just a little tiny bubble tip upward to make sure my hinge has an upward slant to it. I've removed my gate now so I have room to work. I've drilled two holes in this higher than the other holes. And I have this maybe a half a bubble tilt upward slope. So now we're going to reattach our gate hinge. and tight you can see that's just a, just a tinge higher 
There we go, we got that one hinge on. We've done the bottom already. Next thing to do is reposition our gate with some boards underneath it to make it about a half to three quarters of inch higher. Drill these holes and then attach that. But if you like this video so far, you wanna be sure and subscribe so when you fix your gate, you can come back and see how we did it. Also, you might like some of our other repair videos that we do from time to time. All right, now we have the gate positioned. Let me show you what we have on the back side so you can see how we're spacing this for our proper a thin set. board here, maybe a quarter of an inch at the very top. And then down at the bottom, I have one that's about a three quarter inch piece that's spacing between the bottom so the hinge will fit there. And then here I have, bottom I have a couple pieces, probably about a half inch. Then I have a three quarter inch piece with a couple of spacers in there, make sure it has an upward tilt. So we have the spacing throughout the whole gate. So we almost have this to the very top up here, but we do have it even over here, close enough to where we can get our hinges back in and have a upward tilt on our slope. All right, we, so we got our final positioning of our gate. I'm gonna drill our pilot holes. Get those guys this started. wood supports. No sag, no drag. It's a wonderful thing. So now all we have to do to finish it, put our handle back on, put our fence pickets back on, we'll call it a job well done. So if you liked our video on fence repair, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Come back and see me real soon. Thanks for watching.